Hello again. In this video, we will learn uh, uh, how we can uh, um, search with black blank notes. We can how we can uh, 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 construct and run our select queries when our data set has blank nodes. Now, if you haven't watched my video about blank nodes, you know the previous videos, then please go back, watch it first, and then come back here otherwise things may not make sense to you if you are new to the idea of blank nodes so as we mentioned before you know briefly blank nodes are sort of pointers or references to some other data you know some people prefer re references rather than pointers so we'll use references from now on so they are references to other data and we said you know when we explained that we actually added this predicate from our own and we said the rest of the the rest of the data uh, from now on you can find it at you know, at that reference or at that pointer, and you we said with semi, uh, I'm sorry, underscore and colon. That's how you name blank nodes. And this name here, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you want as long as the they are the same. So it actually always references and points towards the same thing. And we can have several uh, blank nodes within the same triple data set. Now, uh, if we want to construct a simple query on this, then, then let's have a look at this query. Uh, we have our usual prefix there and then we say uh, select or rather the author of the book is saying select you know uh, uh, just a variable address val where a temporary variable s it has a predicate uh, predicate address give me back the address value now if you notice the the predicate address now the value that corresponds to that if you go back to the data set is actually the blank node itself yeah the, the reference that we used uh, 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 for, for the blank node. So if we run this query on this uh, simple data set, let me just get back my beautiful terminal. Where is it? There you go. Let me resize it so it fits our window. So for the results to be clear, if we run that, going back to the query just to double check, this is what our query looks like. Select address val, and we are using the predicate that uh, is used, you know, for, for the blank node here. Again, it's just resizing automatically. I don't know why. So let me just clear this. Now, if we run that, what number is that? 86. Yes, it's 86 on dataset uh, 041. If we run it, we get back actually the value that the placeholder that we use for the blank node. It's actually different. So this is uh, here is B0, and there it was B1. Just to reiterate that the naming isn't really important. The Sparkle processor doesn't really care what we actually name it. So this can be like pretty much random. It doesn't really matter. What we name it as long as it's actually the same thing, you know, it's always referring or pointing towards uh, the same name. But what we can do is we can use the predicate address now and make uh, our query much more intelligent so we get better results. And to do that, just to show an example, we go back to our text editor and then uh, query number 088. And what's happening here is He's saying select first name, last name, street address, city, region, and postal code where, and then we're using the predicates now, you know, temporary variable s, it has a predicate first name, give me value, the, back the value first name, place it, uh, place it in this uh, variable here so we can display it, likewise for the uh, last name, likewise for the address now, but we're stopping there, and then for the address we're using it in our second part of the query and saying now for the variable address, Make sure it has a property name, postal address, put that, um, I'm sorry, postal code, place that or bind that to variable postal code, city, bind that to variable city, street address, likewise, bind it to street address variable, region, bind it to region. If we run that, then we expect to have more meaningful uh, results. That's uh, query number 88. And now we get the address, I'm sorry, uh, it's just the space isn't enough that's why the result looks a bit strange but the, like you know still it still needs more space let me just enlarge my terminal window and now I hope it, like, it actually makes more sense you can see that now the rest of, re of the results are displayed properly so just to reiterate blank nodes are sort of a uh, way to organize our data set uh, that's the main purpose really and whenever we query we should try to avoid we should try and avoid getting them because I'm because we're using the address uh, predicate here which actually is pointing or, is, uh, or which has the blank note as, as a subject we should we should 
avoid getting the, that subject back I'm sorry, that object back, not subject avoid that object, getting the object back and then try to have a more intelligent query to get the rest of the data using that predicate uh, I hope this makes sense thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you next time